Trap Productions, and we are back with another Magic Trick video. Today, for this trick, you can make your friends believe that they are magic. So this is how it goes. As you can see, all of the cards are different. And you'll have your audience member pick a card. I'm just going to pick a random card, and we'll be using the Ace of Clubs today. So now you ask them to pick a number between 1 and 52, that's where it'll be going in the deck. I'm just going to pick a random number, 27, so then we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So this card will be going on 27, and these will go on top. Okay. So now I'm going to shuffle the deck. Now you'll have the audience member cut the deck roughly in half. There. So I'm going to take this half and take the other half. So now it's somewhere in the middle of the deck. And you probably don't think you know where the card is, but you actually do. You just don't know that you know. So now I'm going to, you're going to say stop whenever you think the card is. I can't hear you, so I'm just going to say, do it randomly. Stop right there. And Ace of Clubs. All right, so now we're going to go over how this trick works. So at the beginning, it really doesn't matter what the, what card they choose. So I'm just going to use the six of clubs here. So when they choose, there's a couple different ways to do this. When they choose the number, if it's some, if it's 15 from either the beginning or from the end, you will do it a little bit differently. But for now, I'm just going to show the first option. So let's say, like, you count out the cards until it's, like, until they, you get to where they said. And then you would take their card, six of clubs, and put it on top. So you pick it up with your hand, and you have your pinky, like, right on the edge of the card. So when you put the deck on top, it's separated. And then when you're shuffling the deck, you take it from where your pinky is, and then you would do the ripple shuffle. So now it's on the top of this side. No, other side. On the top of this side. So we want to control the card to the top. So then when you do the shuffle, you want the side with their card on it to be last. You do that. So now their card will be on the top. You can also add something after called a false shuffle, where you pretend to shuffle, but it actually stays the same. So then you would take about half the deck and then take one card down and put the rest on top, but not all the way. So then you can take it back around, put one down, and take it on top. So then it looks like you're shuffling, but really you just undid what you just did. So if they choose a number that's 15 from the top or from the bottom, what you would do is, if it's from the top, you take your cards, and then I'm just gonna use Queen of Clubs now. Instead of putting it on this side, where you, actually no, you put it on this side here, 
the ones that you just counted out. And then we'll be doing the control a little bit differently. This time it's going to be the an overhand shuffle. So you keep the side separate and then you would do an overhand shuffle until you reach where that card is and then you put the rest on top. So then it's at the top. If it's 15 from the bottom, you count all the cards off, except you put it on the side that you didn't count. So then it's close to the bottom, like close to the end, and then you do that. The reason you have to do that if it's close to the end is because two reasons. One, if you do a ripple shuffle like this, it will look really strange. And also, because if you were to do it like this, that's not really a shuffle. So once you have your card to the top, we're gonna have to switch again, eight of diamonds. You have them cut the deck about in the middle. I'll get to why it has to be in the middle later. And then you take their side, and once again, you will keep a break with your pinky so then they're separated like that. So for this last step, when they choose where they want, where they think the card is, it doesn't matter when they say stop, except for like we want it, we had to cut in the middle because it will look better is they will probably say stop somewhere in the middle and it would look strange if it for what I'm about to do. So this is called a force. So then you would say when to stop. If it doesn't matter where they say stop, you don't lift it up where they say stop. You lift it up where your pinky is. So then you reveal their card. And if it were if the cut were to be at the top and they say stop right here, doing this won't look very good. So I'm gonna do the trick once again so you can see what it looks like now that you know how it works. So you take a card, King of Spades, and you put it somewhere in the middle. Like, I'm gonna choose 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. You take their card, put it on top, keep a break with your pinky, take the rest of the cards I attach them, and put it there so you have the break. And now you're gonna shuffle, keeping their card on top at the end. They cut the deck somewhere in the middle, like right here. You take your side of the deck where you have the thing of stage on top. Put the cards down, and then they say stop whenever they want, but it doesn't matter because you take it with the break and your queen of spades is put down. So this is a really good trick. For what I've done, it gets really good reactions because they believe they have choice, but really they don't. So hopefully this helped you. If it did, leave a like and comment. And if you really enjoyed this, then make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time and goodbye.